All right, so this is the car we use to travel anywhere and everywhere. It's a pretty decently sized car, but when you stick a 40 pound dog, two kids, and a, obviously a wife, it doesn't give you much room. And so as a guy who takes his flipping camera stuff everywhere, I wanna reduce that. And I'm always taking my flipping laptop everywhere. So what if I switch that out with the iPad Pro? So let's do a review of the iPad Pro today that's currently in my bag. Can we land this in the car? Nice! Digging up the whole bloody parking lot. Morning, sir. Hello. Afternoon. I need one thing from here, and it's not a kayak, surprisingly. That scared me. <laughs> Look, I'm not intentionally saving something to the end of the video, just you're off of it, aren't you? So that you stay to the end. I wanted to see how many Cheeto, how much Cheeto dust can stop the iPad from working in terms of like a touch. All right, let's go test the iPad outside because the screen's meant to be bloody amazing in daylight. On. Damn it, it's on the other bloody side of the car. I have crashed my drone here far too many times than I can count to remember. Uh, iPad. You know, I don't even really need the iPad out now, but I thought I'd show you. This is one of the bloody annoying things about it. So I've got the case thing on here. With the pencil, it's bloody difficult to open. So let's say you have your, your iPad, you stick it down. I'm, I'm really not exaggerating. It's a not, like, even if I put it down. Let's get a close up of this, shall we? I'm making so many weird noises. All right, oh, Oliver, you want to open it? There we go. It's ridiculous. Where, why is there not a tab or something like on the Mac to get your thumb in there? First world problems. All right, why are we out here? Because one, I wanted to fly the drone just for fun, and two, to see how this deals with being outside in the bright sunlight, because we'll talk about the screen in a little bit, little bit, and also to transfer footage from my drone to this and just see how it does. Because I use Final Cut Pro as an editing app, and I downloaded it on here, so I wanna try that out. As for how this is stored in my backpack, this is my go-to backpack for everything, and it's got a nice little laptop pouch in the back here. So it's meant to slide in, but with the keyboard, it's about the same thickness as a MacBook. We'll compare it later, if I remember. Drone, new propeller, <laughs> controller, goggles. I do like a little bit of fancy editing to get this all out on the table, but we've had enough of that now and there hasn't really been any content about the iPad, has there? Have I bought the wrong bloody size again? I have, damn it. This said it was the right size. Look at this spider. It, I swear to you it was there a second ago. It was right there. Brilliant, I don't know where it's gone. All right, we won't use this drone, we'll use the smaller drone, but it does the same job for this video. Well, my comparison. There's a little park over here. So we're gonna fly in between the things and you'll see just how bad I am at flying. So one good flight and then we'll start copying over and see how it does. I picked up flying these FPV drones like maybe two years ago and I have not really gotten much better. I have at crashing them. I'm really good at crashing them. Oh my God, bloody hell. Okay, we're down. Be right back. <laughs> and I want to go down this, call it a helter skelter, this one. There's a little bit of wind that we're fighting with. I want it to like land on the top of the slide and then slide down. So let's try going through. Oh, no, bloody hell. Let's just uh, knock your face off, shall we, Oliver? Okay, Oliver, you've bailed. Uh, not brilliant. All right, I've made an executive decision, decision that we're not actually gonna go down the helter-skelter thing. 
because there's a massive pile of water at the bottom. <laughs> so it's a good job I checked. Checked, crashed and saw it. I saw this crazy video yesterday on TikTok and it was a guy talking about how he overheard two guys talking on a train. And one of them was saying, should I talk? Do I, should I text this girl? And the friend was saying, yeah, of course not. Like, why wouldn't you assume that she likes you enough to at least text you back? And his whole ethos was, assume people like you, and if, you don't, if they don't, F them. And it's like, that's, cr that's a crazy epiphany. Assume that people like you. I constantly assume that I'm like, getting in the way of someone. It's kind of windy here. Okay, let's go down one of these other slides. But I even tried it this morning, emailing someone that was meant to get back to me last week. Okay. I honestly flying these drones is like a confidence thing as well. Assume that you're gonna make it, and that'll give you a much better chance. Should I go through one of these holes? Because I don't think I'm going down the flipping. That was. <laughs> that was not the hole I was aiming for. I, I've gone and uh, broken it again, so it looks like we need some more Gorilla Glue. Let's go over to the sunlight and see how the iPad does as we try to transfer the footage over. At the gym this morning, I realized I lost my wedding band, my silicone one. So tomorrow I'm thinking that we just make a silicon mold for that. It's not gonna be the smart one that we've been wanting, but it'll be a wedding band. Bloody hell, it's bright, it's hot as well. This is not my most comfortable edit position ever. Oliver, you donut, you need the memory card, don't you? Wrong side. Which way around is it? This way. I can open this stupid thing. Balance, not brilliant. All right, so the first problem is gonna be that, unlock one, almost said my password. The first problem is that I always edit off of an SSD. Bloody hell. This screen is amazing. It's the sin, the sun is literally right above me, if I could say anything. The sun is right above me. You have to see this. I am amazed. Okay, so look. Look at how you can see that. You got sun up there. Let's check against my phone. Phone's at full brightness. That just looks so much more clear. That's amazing. I am hot as balls though. Okay, what? I've never transferred files on an iPad before, so what do I do? Yeah, so I always edit off of an SSD, right? But I can't, without a dongle, I can't get two in here. So I guess I'm just gonna save to the iPad and then switch over maybe. All right, do you wanna see my screen? All right, starting the screen recording now. So let's go to where the file was. There we go. Untitled, sure, yes. I always do this in column format. All right, let's see this last one. Open. So this obviously has the M4 chip, which is meant to be extremely powerful. This is not gonna be an in-depth techie video but it's dealing with this footage really well. I also want to deal later, the camera I'm using is the A7S III and it shoots in a, a very high video codec. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> but I want to shoot a video in that and see how it plays back on this and see if we can edit it, color grade it, and do whatever. Yeah, so Final Cut Pro just isn't opening. I'm mesmerized by this screen, by the way. Let's go without the case. So I made a joke the other day when this came in, and I was like, who cares about the thinness? And honestly, I don't. But let's play with this for a bit without the case, the uh, keyboard. And I'll give you some of my thoughts on the keyboard later. There's some things I really like about it, other things I hate. But for right now, this isn't bloody loading. Let's go back to my office, try a few more things, and I'm just going to leave this loading and see if it does anything. <laughs> That's not a brilliant start, is it? You know, something else I want to test is how good is the keyboard like, as, from an intuitive perspective? Is it good for being able to type fast going from a laptop keyboard? We'll find out. All right, as I'm getting back into the car, Final Cut Pro has opened up. That took, I would say, a good four or five minutes to open. For the, that is the first time that it has opened, to be fair. But Final Cut Pro is probably the app that I use the most. And we'll get more into the M4 chip capabilities a bit in this video, like using AI photo editing. How does it really do? Because I think that is the biggest selling point. 
and I want to get into the pencil a bit more. Love me a bit of pencil. Dude, bloody hell, it is hot out. Hey, dude. Good girl. So natural. <laughs> oh dear. Gotta be careful with the iPad. I made my topics of things to talk over in this video and I must have run out of storage. This must have been a note that made me run out of storage because it didn't sync to my phone. So now that we're back, we've got the full plan. Hi, Judah. So what's the comfort like to hold it? It's pretty good. I'd say the thinness is nicer, but if you go in one-handed, there's still some weight to it. But then again, if I'm comparing it to my MacBook, Senor MacBook, <laughs> where I don't get the option to be able to hold it one-handed, it's pretty comfortable. And if I'm gonna sit back in my chair and just casually move the mic around, I didn't want a new folder. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't know what I'm doing. Copy and then move to the iPad. Something's copying on my computer. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let's move it to on my iPad. Do we get any functionality with the pencil on a video like this? No? Okay, let's get it to Final Cut Pro. You see, even from holding my hand like this for this short period of time, I'm getting a cramp in here. I don't know if that's just my problem. Oh. So do I now have to pay to use Final Cut Pro? Even though I've purchased it on the Mac? It looks like I do. It, wow. See, this brings up a very interesting thing that I wasn't expecting. When it comes to switching to iPad from Mac, you're having to buy new apps that you may already have purchased. Uh, it's just easy, import from files. So if you haven't edited videos before, down at the bottom, down here, you have the timeline. So any footage that's on the timeline is what's gonna be in your video. Get this back to looking cool. As cool as I can look. Okay, so I do it with, I get that on with my finger. Can also do it with the pencil, okay, makes sense. I really do like how you hover with the pencil. So I'm hovering and moving across the timeline. Love that. So we've talked a little bit about the design and build quality. I'm not gonna check how strong this is, obviously. So I'm gonna insert a clip of someone else doing that because I just don't have the funds to do that. Bending from the back. Oh, it's bent for sure, but bent is better than broke. Bloody hell. Now I will get onto the Pencil Pro and this keyboard because I think just this, that just so smooth, Oliver. <laughs> I love that, the simplicity of it. But let's see, I wanna check the performance of it. So let's shoot some super high quality footage and let's use this camera to film me doing it. <laughs> camera. I think there you've got your first problem. I can't quite believe this. We've only got HD on the internal camera, the front camera, and it's not very wide. You can see I'm standing about three, four foot from it. So we've got this obviously filming me, hello. But if I'm shaking the table, you can see just how much it shakes around the edges here, especially when you're this way around. Look, I've just got my hand on the table, let's say I move. So we're gonna go with a zero for stabilization on the camera at the moment. But let's, let's change the settings here. This is the wide version. That seems much more impressive. And the quality seems so much better, but this isn't, that's not the default camera. I don't know why I'm looking at that camera again. <laughs> I'm looking at <laughs> that camera. What a donkey. CPA is calling me. View camera boffins. We're filming on XAV. <laughs> I used to be super into this stuff. XAVC HS 4K. And then the movie settings. So we're going to record at 120 frames per second. Typically you would record at 24 frames per second. So we're going a lot. It's gonna be like super slow-mo. 280M, 422, 10-bit. All I know there is that 10-bit gives you more to work with in terms of color range. <laughs> so let's shoot some cool shots of the iPad. I've had a change of heart. We're gonna make the Cheetos puffs look, 
I don't know about fire, but I'm, I, in my head, they're gonna look fire. So here we try, let's try it. Oh, this is another thing, the camera placement. I'm used to the camera being over here, like on any of the other iPads before. So iPad mini, it's over here, which brings up the weirdest thing. When you're having a chat with someone on FaceTime or a work call, for the people who look at the camera as if like that's looking at you, that's weird, isn't it? That's so weird. You should be, in my opinion, looking at the other person on the screen, not looking at the camera. It feels like you're looking into their soul. Shut up, Oliver, and make the Cheetos look good. Okay. Okie dokie. We <clears throat> got a couple of nice lights we're gonna use. We're also gonna shut the blinds, so we're gonna see how well, how the video quality and low light does. What is wrong with my mind today? I act like that's different from any other day. <laughs> so a while ago, I used to make photo and video content on YouTube and TikTok. That's how I got my main start on TikTok, really. And Aperture, which is a, a lighting brand, accidentally sent me this briefcase of lights. <laughs> CPA's calling me again, hold on. So obviously I told them that they'd done that and thanked them. That's how I found out that it was a mistake. But we're gonna use two of these to get some lighting going. So we're gonna have orange for the Cheetos, obviously. I'm gonna get a blue going and see how that looks on the Cheetos. Now I'm gonna to switch to a different lens. Instead of shooting on a super wide 14 millimeter lens, I'm gonna shoot on a 24 to 70 lens. By shooting at 70 millimeters, you make the shot less wide and allows you to focus more on the actual subject. My hands are too bloody shaky. Okay, just a couple of shots. We'll see what the color grade looks like. And by the way, I do love getting like high quality shots. But when I started prioritizing the story, I've just found that I don't have the capacity to think about the quality all the time. Especially being a one-man band. All right, let's get these into Final Cut Pro. Still want to test out the pencil in Notes and doing my daily planner. Going to test out the keyboard as well and do a speed typing test, see how we do. Okay, let's use this second clip here. This is 43 seconds. How do I retime it to be clip speed? 20%, I think that's right. Let's change the video quality to frame blending and then add some effects, color adjustments onto the clip. And then we go into here. I'm just going to... I'm not gonna make it look perfect. I'm just gonna mess around with these so that there are adjustments being made and seeing how this renders it out and plays it back. So you see the, the dots up here at the top of this timeline area, like where the time set is, you see the little white dots there? That means that it still needs to render. Honestly, I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I know, I don't really know. Render selection. Okay, how long is this gonna take? That's doing very quickly too. It's like doing 15 seconds of footage every three to five seconds. That's very impressive. I tell you what, the old Intel MacBooks, we thought they were good, right? But in comparison to one of the M chips, like M1, in this case, M4, just absolute trash. These silicon chips that Apple made, I'm, I, I don't, understand how people aren't talking about them as like the craziest advancement in computing technology as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Hi Duda, what's going on? Did you hear Rugi outside and you want to go play? Is that what it is? Oh good girl. Good girls. And that's done. I'm very impressed with that. All right, let's go into Photoshop and get some AI generations done. Sorry Duda, you got you got a knot. Oh, let's switch to using just the keyboard and trackpad now. I did want to test gaming, and so I tried to download the Fortnite app earlier. And I, for so I didn't know that there wasn't a Fortnite app anymore on iPad. So let's say photo realistic, high detail, 32 year old man walking on the beach with binoculars in hand at sunset. I just, it's hard to believe that this is AI. When you look at the fingers, that's how you know it's AI. <laughs> Look at this guy's dad belly as well. Zoom out. So I mentioned the other day that the trackpad snaps to items in the apps. So let's say if I go to files, see how the mouse snaps to these? But in Safari on a web site or a web app, it doesn't do that. Okay, let's just click on this photo, edit it and make sure more changes. 
sausages wrapped around a lentil green soup. There we go, perfect. Love that. I'll um, I'll keep that for some nighttime activity. I think this actually generated AI faster than my M1 MacBook did. So now how do I play Fortnite on here? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Let's just find someone who's already tried it. iPad Pro Fortnite. All right, let's see his final so thoughts. Next, we think one very good uh, factor here is that it has very, very good thermal management. Almost none of the games went too far over 40 degrees, apart from Divinity Original Sin 2, which reached up to 50 degrees. Okay, so overall, he says it performs pretty well. I don't really play games. I play on the PlayStation 4 every now and again. So this isn't really much of a factor for me, but now I want to do a speed typing test. Speed typing test. We've got three tests to do. Show keyboard. All right. I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it. Do I want to do it like this? I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, nailed it. All right, now let's do it with the keyboard. Wow, this is good. Very impressive. I mean, when I say impressive, I'm impressed with myself. Okay, let's do one on the computer. My touch typing is not brilliant, by the way. Was that... That's mad because I got three more words on the computer. My accuracy was the same. Consistency was up by 5%, which I think is a testament to how well the keyboard is laid out on this iPad. It is laid out pretty well. I just, I don't ever see myself... Come on then. I really don't write, very, I type very much. The only time I type is for emails or notes for videos. And the most of the time, I put all my notes on this whiteboard and then I make very sloppy notes in my iPad or I just take a photo of this. So I don't need this keyboard. It's nice. But at three hundred and what fifty thirty dollars, I don't need it. So that will be going back. Let's try this pencil, which is probably what I'm, which is the reason I went for this in the first place. Okay. Before my final thoughts, this is my daily planner, which I should do at the end of every day. But you can see here, I didn't really do the last one very well. So by clicking, you bring up this menu, and let's start writing with this pen change the color to a green and let's choose a pen that All right <laughs> so i'm testing out the barrel roll let me tell you my first problem when i've been editing my oh wait this flipping there's another problem here you can't use this ipad vertically with this can you that's trash that is rubbish so what I found really annoying is having the menu in the bottom corner or wherever this is. And when I want to change from pen to eraser, because I obviously make a lot of mistakes, having to go up to this, select the pen, minimizing it, and then going back to erasing or writing or whatever. But now with the barrel, like clicking the barrel, it's a simple click and then change. What options do I, and then I can obviously increase the size of that here. The next thing is the barrel roll. So as you can, uh, I don't want that one, I want this one. Okay. So as you can see, as I hover, if I twist the pen, you get this nice, almost like fan effect. So if I'm going to draw down, I'm trying to figure out if there are other ways I would use this. I don't do much drawing. I'm not going to lie, I was hyped by this and by the pencil. I thought it was gonna be so cool. I just don't see how it fits into my life when the main things I do. There's one other instance I've realized that this might actually be really useful. So, I promised you, honestly, I don't really want to do this right now, but I promised you, and we'll do it. How many Cheetos does it take? How much Cheeto dust does it take to stop the screen from working? It's so stupid. Let me say my piece.
and then we'll just fast forward this bit until we get to a resolution. And it's gonna take a lot bloody longer than I expected with how little Cheeto dust is on my hand. So what you're seeing on the screen now is the storytelling formula that I used to use on my TikToks. I've updated it a bit more now, but this would be really good for just like walking around because I really, I think, I don't know if I'd say I think really well walking around, but I think better walking around. And so being able to, to be able to like write as I'm walking around without having the tiny screen on my iPad at mini, that's quite a good thing. I do like that idea because it's not too much to be able to carry around for 15 minutes while I ideate. In fact, I might, I might try that on the iPad and see how that works. That's the, the iPad mini. That's the first time I've thought about doing that. But for a guy who only uses video editing, photo editing, and a bit of photo manipulation, I don't really see the need for this Apple Pencil and an iPad Pro. And when it's really not too dissimilar in size to a MacBook, I just don't need it. Get it all over the hand. I'm having to push a little bit harder to get a good connection with it for sure. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is. It's uh, the painting now is a little bit jittery. Is this iPad just too good? Last one. Didn't do it. So there's my Cheeto dust fingers. Now the best bit. You see how it just gradually gets greasier? Gross. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna spend the night taking off my Cheeto fingers. Let's make a new wedding brand, a silicon one, tomorrow. Say bye, Judah. Bye-bye.